I probably will have to do an in-depth overview of every faction because w the review I did for all of the factions so far have been very vague in my opinion like the guy that I watch and per perhaps get most of my stats from he goes into depth with like abilities and I don't do that I guess it's because nobody really watches in my streams I mean one or two people watch that's nice However, at the end of the day, I probably will need more. I'm surprised that he hasn't brought any pike units. His main build is Thorax Swordsman, however. And one Royal Peltas. He has Mercenary Rhodian Slingers, three of them, and so I'm going to have to close the range. Sometimes I feel I over invest in cavalry. I mean, you look at this army, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Thorax Swordsmen and a Royal Peltas, where I have five Thorax Swordsmen and a Silver Shield Swordsman. However, I also have two shield bearers, which might be useful on the flanks. There's no way I'm winning a skirmisher fight, unless he gets really stupid and starts to aim for my Thorax Swordsman, which over time they get a lot of kills. See, like he brought two units of Cav, and that may or may not work for him. The best way to deny somebody with a lot of skirmishers their advantage is to close in, as I'm doing right now. He won't win a cavalry engagement, and I think he knows that. So, first off, chase off this unit. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, I wasn't paying attention. They're that strong? Really? Oh jeez. That was a disaster, to be honest. Thankfully, he is going to try to attempt to help out those units. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Oh, 
Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. units has used all its ammunition. These two units could have been helping him out, and this unit's just going to chase away chase this direct swordsman somewhere. Just come here. I just need to get his general. And then everything will be fine. I should have got his general. And while this unit's doing nothing. The rest of his units are doing nothing. This game is pretty much mine. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. I think he knows that he, he can't win this. Deployed less men. Lost less men. Killed more. One of my Thorax, the one unit that perished, got no kills. And I wasn't expecting that from Cretan Archers. Good game we played. Uh, Macedon is my next. I wonder if this is the same person. If it is, then I don't want to try against him again. No, it's okay. I'll let him play against someone else. And as I promised, I I am going to play, I mean use Foot Companions, a unit that I don't really like using but will use anyway. Royal Peltas as my general unit. No, I don't need another. Five foot companions with. Oh, jeez. Companions. It's a lot of money. I mean, they could just 
spam Praetorians. This is the basic setup, so he's probably going to change it. With, with this much money, you can just spam Praetorians. I hope he changes it. Whatever. If he doesn't, he doesn't. It's his game anyway. I mean, this guy could spam foot companions and then use the infamous pike boxing. Pike boxing is when you have your pikes in a box. It's pretty self explanatory. The easiest way to defeat it is using artillery. Second easiest way is using skirmishers. The hardest way is using infantry, obviously, because you can't attack them frontally, and when they're in a box, they can't be attacked. You can do it in a triangle as well, but that's less effective. 1,500, all right. I can work with that. Three shield bearers. And one thing I didn't mention, I have not never mentioned, is that when you put your sh your hopites into sh uh, hopite wall or hopite phalanx, they go into phalanx. But if you have your hopites in a line, they make they have gaps. And even if there's one model on the flank or rear, they get the moral de the morale deep buff and the uh, the negative bonuses that come with being attacked from the flank or rear. So you have to be careful. Have these guys in a straight line. You upgrade to 1700, so I have to change it again. Bring two. Love eight, twelve. I feel like I should bring Peltas. Two companions, one Aspis can win. I mean, much engagements. I'm using the signature foot companions, two pikemen, two pel royal peltas, no regular peltas, three shield bearers, five thorax swordsmen, two companions, an aspect companion. <sighs> this guy is just going to go straight into pikes using two Greek giant ballistae, companion cav. And six archers, and he went with the commander general. I my favorite is the strategist general because in some cases when you're playing, like if you use if you use the whip on your general, they get exhausted. Usually, if they're winning an engagement, if they're losing, they I think they become tired. If they're doing nothing and you activate it, they become winded. And if you're running with it, they become very tired or tired. I can't remember. 